Why wouldn't they let Jesus in the jewelry shop? I don't know why. They were afraid he was going to break every chain. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even laugh that time. Jesus in the jewelry shop. I don't know why. They were afraid he was going to break every chain. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even laugh that time. Can somebody please explain to me what was so funny about that? Making a mockery out of deliverance? Making a mockery out of what the Lord can do in someone's life? The power of deliverance, setting somebody free. This is why we're covering the devils of deliverance, because they actually make a mockery out of deliverance. Yes, Isaiah Saldivar is sitting here mocking the delivering power of Jesus Christ. Why won't they let Jesus in the jewelry shop? Because <laughs> they're afraid he would break every chain. <laughs> Oh, it's just a joke. That's what you people are going to say. It's just a joke. Is getting deliverance a joke? Is being set free from the sin that keeps you in bondage a joke? No, it is not. I can speak for myself. I have been set free from the grips and power of sin. All glory to Jesus Christ. Nothing I could do in and of myself, but the Lord changing my heart and taking those desires from me. I didn't need an Isaiah Saldivar. I didn't need a Daniel Adams or a Greg Locke or a Marcus Rogers or a Signorelli or a Pagani or a John Ramirez or Bob Larson or Catherine Crick or Jenny Weaver or any of these people. I didn't need any of them. I just needed to submit myself to God Resist the devil and he will flee. I needed to cry out to Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I needed to get in my word and study my word. Let the word wash me and cleanse me and purify me. I didn't need the demon slayers to come slay a million and one demons out of me. I didn't need that. And especially not from people who mock deliverance like they do. Yes, we even have Heather Adams on video mocking deliverance. We'll show that video someday. We even have Jenny Weaver on video mocking deliverance. And I've showed that before. We have Daniel Adams mocking deliverance by always putting pictures of the people that are supposedly getting delivered in, in, in very weird looking uh, positions and facial expressions on the thumbnails of his videos or the one where he had the woman punching him supposedly, right? And then he has the special effects in there, mocking deliverance. This is right in front of your guys' faces and all you do is laugh at it because of the cult of personality. Repent of your idolatry to these people and what you can get from them. Because best believe, just like in John chapter 6, when Jesus started preaching the harder messages, the people stopped following Jesus. And why is that? Because Jesus knew from the beginning them that did not believe. They saw the miracles. They saw the healings and the deliverances. They saw Jesus feeding 4,000, 5,000. They saw all of that. But when Jesus started preaching the harder messages, none of it mattered anymore. None of it mattered because they stopped following him. And the same thing will happen to many of you, God forbid, who follow these men. When the harder messages come out, you're going to stop following Jesus Christ because you're not really sold out to him. You really do not believe. Repent. Repent, you adulterers and adulteresses. God bless.